Boeing 737 is the best-selling commercial jetliner in history. With more than 490 operators worldwide, one 737 takes off or lands every 1.5 seconds. There are 2,800 737 in the air at any given time. The 737 family has carried more than 22 billion passengers. I visited Boeing's Renton site, which is the world's most productive airplane factory, rolling out 52 737 a month. It is also the fastest selling airplane in Boeing's history. In this video, let's find out how Boeing built a 737. So the, um, our fuselages come in from Wichita, Kansas by rail. You may have seen them as you guys drove, drove in. Once they arrive, they're basically just an empty green shell. We wash that coating off when we uh, start the paint process. But so fuselage arrives, we'll pull it up here. And in the overnight hours, you'll see the yellow cranes at the top here. The cranes will move up, they'll pick up the fuselage. And the first three days they spend on, in that structure, we call it systems installation. It's basically where the airplane gets its guts. A lot of the electrical, venting, uh, paneling goes on in those initial phases. And then on the fourth day, the crane comes back, drops the airplane into this position in the corner, which is called wing to body joint. And that's where it finally starts to look like an airplane. The tail gets put on, the wings get put on, the landing gear gets attached in that position. Once all that happens, the, the airplane comes up, takes a turn and starts moving down the line. So the airplane that's closest to the door down there is the one that's ready the, the furthest along. And it'll go out once it gets its engines, it goes out to the paint hangar. What's the difference between the current NG, the new generation 7.3, and the MAX 7.3? Sure. So Sam, the, uh, the MAX has a few unique differences that sets it apart from the NG. Uh, the most important is the larger new CFM Leap 1B engine at 69 inch fan diameter. Uh, that new engine is a lot more efficient and quieter. Some other features you'll notice are the advanced technology winglet with the up and downward oh, yes. shape. Yep. Uh, and then the other is the APU has a redesigned uh, tail cone. We've eliminated the vortex generators on the aft tail. And if you look really closely, you might see that 20 centimeter rise on the nose wheel. And then inside, all Maxes have Boeing Sky Interior, which a lot of customers prefer yep. over a uh, non-Sky Interior. We've had a lot of demand for the Max. Uh, as you can see, even in our factory, we're starting and to see... I think it's one of your fastest selling Yeah, we've sold over 4,500 Max. 4,500 you yeah. sold Max. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I understand there's Max 7, Max 8, Max 9, and Max 10, four derivatives of 737 Correct. Max. Correct. And you already have Max 8 and 9 delivered. Correct. Uh, Max 8 went to, first one went to? Melindo Air. Melindo Air, Malaysia. And then Max 9, I think, went to Thai Line Air. Thai Line, that's correct. And when did Max 7, I think it's sort of doing is conducting the testing flight Sure, right the now. Max 7 is flight testing right now and will first delivery in 2019 to uh, Southwest Airlines, our oh, largest. Southwest Airlines, okay. Uh, and then our Max 10 will deliver in 2020. 2020. Yep. A lot of people like the 757. And you think, is this 737 Max 10 is gonna be a replacement of the 757? I think the, the 737 Max 10 will definitely cover uh, a large majority of the 57 operator's needs. Uh, it has uh, similar capacity. The Max 10 has increased range over the NG. Uh, we've had strong demand for the Max 10. So yeah. The Max is a very versatile airplane. You'll versatile. see it on 30 minute flights to almost seven hours. And I think it's really what airlines are looking for, a very efficient product uh, that can fit into uh, a lot of today's gates and airports. Hi, my name is Bob Michael with the Boeing Company. Um, you're in the flight deck of the 7377. Uh, this is the third variant uh, in the 737 MAX family. Um, this is the shortest uh, of the four airplanes in the family. What you're looking at here, uh, one of the really cool things about the airplane is 787 primary flight displays. And you can see really high resolution displays. Um, what we're doing is providing great information to the flight deck, to the flight crews, and also provisioning the airplane for this next generation of air traffic management and flight operations functionality, both from a display real estate standpoint and from an underlying processing capability standpoint. 
looking at here is flight test instrumentation. Um, I know most people never get to see this. A lot of data about every aspect of flying the airplane. Uh, so we can first, from an engineering standpoint, confirm the airplane does what we want it to do and then demonstrate to the regulatory agencies that the airplane is safe to fly.